Hello everyone. My name is Arch Harris. Please feel free to call me Archie. And welcome to whatever the hell this is that Toby's done now. Uh, this has taken me a long time to actually figure out how to record it. Uh, but to me it's very much important that I do. I played probably 10 to 15 minutes of it just to get a feel for it before realizing I really wanted my reaction down in a way that I could preserve. So uh, after fiddling all last night with about three different programs, I finally found something that could record this damn thing. So let's stop talking about it and get started and see what the hell is going on. Are you there? Are we connected? <sighs> Excellent. Truly excellent. Now we may begin. It's a very good thing to release on Halloween. Jesus. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. I'm touching audio real quick. Uh, <laughs> nothing quite short enough for me. I like the little thing here. Let's do that. Select the torso that you prefer. Stripes are important for kids, huh? Select the legs that you prefer. Gee, I just don't know, Toby. Which legs do I prefer? I'm pretty sure these are all exactly the same. Um, okay. Alright, Tobes. This is your body. Do you accept it? Ah, well... Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? <laughs> Pain, cold. Pain, cold might actually be accurate, but let's go sweet. Your favorite blood type? Uh... <laughs> Is this also for food? Um, let's just do D. Which color does it like the most? Um, blue. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mine, ambition, bravery, voice. Uh, unfortunately, I know myself very well, so. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. <laughs> Um, help. Have you answered honestly? Not entirely. No. <laughs> you acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. That's an interesting way of putting it. Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. And we called it Ark. And what about the Creator? A R C Ark. Of course, of course. Of course, they are the same. Ark. <laughs> Thank you for your time, your answers, your wonderful creation will now be discarded. 
No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris! <laughs> oh, it's Toriel. <laughs> Chris, if you do not wake up, you will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, all right? Hi, Goat Mom! <laughs> Oof. I look like a grumpy one. Uh, hmm. Oh, thank God. Oh, I don't actually... Hmm. I don't have a way to change my keyboard controls. That blows. Okay. I'm on a very tiny keyboard. The drawer is mostly empty except for... A school cross county shirt with a tear in it. There are CDs under the bed. Classical jazz, religious ska. It's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Hmm. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. It's a beautiful day outside. Closed drawer. Your bed a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific repudiation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of the History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. I know him. He's a friend. A cactus. Not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. Hmm. Weird. Hey! It's... <laughs> wow. It's only you. Christ. The door is locked. Oh, jeez. This way. Bathroom. You look inside the sink cupboard. There's... A can of Ice E's Cool Boys Body Spray, spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. <laughs> it seems to be almost entirely full. I, I would guess so. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yes. I, you flush the toilet. <laughs> On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Oh, I guess that makes sense. There's some white fur stuck in the drain, as always. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. From the bag, probably. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. I do. Uh, hey! Ring. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone, after all. Mm, true. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Eh. Okay, let's go. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris. It is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when a- Azri- uh, Um, but I- Shit. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? <laughs> oh, hello, my best friend! At the library! Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Aren't I a little old for constant hand-holding? I would assume. I would think. Oh, well. Aww. Still good. Okay, bye! I love you. I missed you. <gasps> My fave! So, does everyone have a... Oh, Chris! 
We thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Crisp! Awa! No saws! Tem already have partner. Is that an egg? It's a black and white hard boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. <laughs> Yo, Chris! Show up earlier next time! I ended up having to partner with Snowy! <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. Ha ha ha. What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Yeah, well. Okay. I wish I was not on my tiny-ass little arrow keys. Ah, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm. You need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris. Now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Not. I actually want to get an A. What kind of face is that? It's a bunch of roses. Ah. Hey, Chris. What's up? Did you lose your pen again? Here, you want a candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. I could ask Miss Alfie's if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Sup? Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. <laughs> Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> help, please. Help. What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. I animated schoolwork. And... Hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Okay, I guess you need to help me. Uh, yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alfie's, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No. I do not approve of this. Abort. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, were you saying something? She was just saying we're fine with being alone. A actually, I would just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? <gasps> hi, hi, Susie. Oh no. Ripped jeans. <laughs> Am I late? Oh, no, no. We're fine. You're fine. We were just, uh, ch choosing partners for the next group project and... Uh, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. <laughs> I missed your face. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. <sighs> um, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If nobody speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh-huh. Anyone? P please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alfie's, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go and get it for me? Whatever. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she... Um, actually gets it. And, um, stays out of trouble. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. See you later. <laughs> oof a doof. Alright. You check the time. It seems to be time for class. Uh, is it? Because that's a weird time. Hey! Oh. I've known other characters who can consider chalk a yummy snack. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You 
can't even say. Chris. Uh, I don't like this. Hi. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything. I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just, let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled for just having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... Oh, jeez. Why not don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> right? Nah. <laughs> Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Wow, okay. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris... You'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. I'm getting that, Tobes. I'm getting that. Let's go, freak. Oh, I really don't like you. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate and true. Okay. Can I go here? Chris. What? Realize the baby classroom is better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Drink from the water fountain. People put their mouth on that, you know. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand? God, you're an ass. Don't like you. I'm sure there's some big reason why you're this way, but jeez. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, same. Hey, Chris, is it me, or is it really dark in there? Why are you afraid of the dark, buddy? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you going to go in, or what? Fine. If you're going to be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Yeah, this totally... Shit. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Yeah, I doubt that. Um, kind of big for a closet, huh? I think we'd reach the end by now. What the... Scooby-Doo is going on. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alfie wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Yep. Genre conventions. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us... Oh, I don't like that sound effect. Oh, that sound effect has bad memories. Th the floor, it's...
Oh, that's good animation. <laughs> Oh. Oh, this is <laughs> familiar but different. Wait. I'm in armor now. I'm Okay. I'm blue and I'm in armor. And that's a nice sound too. Hey, you're familiar. At times you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Ah, finally. Um... That's... me. Okay? God, Tobes, you really use the, the, like... The language that you already taught us to do some interesting shit, huh? Okay, okay. Onwards. Okay. So are we post Undertale? But Asriel Is this Undertale rebooted? I don't understand. It's too dark to see anything. I don't wanna wave back at these guys. Oh, I can't get see that. It's too dark. Can't do anything with that, apparently. This is rather spooky. Uh, more so than I was expecting. At least Undertale always had this. Ooh, hi. This aura of everything's going to be all right. Okay, these are all the same, I think. Ooh. Someone's got a runny nose. Oh. Okay. So this one has a thing. Hello. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yep. Got the glow shard. Oh, good. I'm glad. What does that do? Hey! Oh, sweet. Hold on. Oh, wait. What's the... God. Accept. Okay. This is annoying, but I need to get off these keys. They're killing me. So... Uh, down is going to be K... So not have the, the K button. Uh, right is going to be L. Up is going to be I. And left is going to be J. Okay. Oh my god, that's so much better. I wish I could bump all these up to... I can, technically. Confirm. A. Cancel. Er, and menu F. Okay, this is perfect for me. <laughs> now I'm on my home keys. I'm... Ha oh, wait. I did that wrong. I want this one to be D. Okay, now I'm happy. Sorry, but that's import. Auto run! I have a run button? What's my run button? I have no idea. Okay. Let's just leave. But I've turned on auto run. And... Power. I have act. Level one human. Body contains a human soul. I have guts. Okay. Uh, wooden blade. Wooden practice blade with carbon reinforced core. No magic. Ten attack. Kind of beefy. Shimmering shard. It juices unknown. Okay. Cell phone. Hey! You tried to call on the- Ah! <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be working! Yeah! You ain't just whistling Dixie, holy shit. Uh, okay. Hey! It's a little less atmospheric, but... I'm on a timetable. Alright. You're sniffly! Yes, you are! You're very sniffly. Need some Claritin. Hi! Hello? Oh! Shh. Oh my god, is this the new mechanic? For battle? Oh, that'd be so sweet. Okay. 
I'm into it. Hey, no save point. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. As always. I puzzle. I'll say it. Oh, I hate puzzles. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Well, it's a good thing that I don't seem to have eyes. Um hmm. Wait, what? Seriously, Tobes? Okay. Seriously, though? Oh, you look sad. These don't do anything, and I want them to do something. Uh, hello? Can I talk to you? I've been trained to talk to all monsters. Oh, am I hurting them? Um, uh, mm. Don't like that. I don't like that either. Got bad memories of all this. H hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Nice outfit. Wow, you lucked out. I did not get the cool one. Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, out of this closet. Mm-hmm. Um, where is here, anyway? Probably Narnia. Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess, you get us out. I think actually, technically, Alfie's did, so... Lead the way, Chris. Puff, puff, what, you want to make it a race? <laughs> did I immediately turn towards the camera as if to go, dun 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 Sitcom joke. I really wish I liked Susie. I tend to like creatures that eat chalk. Hmm. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh! Nothing good! Been here before. Oh, God. Dive. Dive. Spades, huh, Tobes? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, okay. Fuck. Hey, is that perfect? Is this easy or am I good? I'm not sure. Chris, down here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Wait. Okay. I just wanted to check to see if I could actually get hit. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay. Onwards. Hi! Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any ideas what the heck this place is? Me neither. I wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Okay. It's locked. And in! It's also locked. I'm gonna take a wild stab at... Yeah, it's locked. Okay. It's very cute. It's very... This is all very Halloween. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Castletown! A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward, both of you. Hey! I know you too, maybe. Welcome! I, I am the prince of this kingdom. Are you now? The kingdom of darkness. Are you now? Chris, Susie, 
there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive, Toby, and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by who and what? <laughs> foretold by time and space. Of course. Why not? Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Yes. I think I might know it already, but by all means. <laughs> Very well, then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among the shadows. It was a legend of hope and of dreams. It was a legend of light and of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Not the Delta Rune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. Would it be a reckoning? The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angel's heaven. Hmm. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountains of darkness, or the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Okay. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I've read much longer. I deeply believe... You two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. <laughs> what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the... The world will. So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. You're that kind of teenager. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! The f- Oh! oh. Ho ho ho! The heroes are already running away! And they didn't even know I was here! My dad's gonna make me son of the month! Who the hell are you? I'm... <laughs> the bad guy! You clowns wanna seal our dark fountain, huh? And, still picturing you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it! We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get there. I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. <laughs> hmm, nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Okay, 
Lancer busts in. Um, act. Check. Lancer. Attack 7, defense 1. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a mo motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. Ah! Whoa! Halt, clowns. This bike is fueled by victory. Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. I wish you wouldn't use it so much. Please don't. Do you not know how this works? Hey. Compliment? You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. <laughs> um. Susie, Jesus, stop! Oh, you made my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. God. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. Lancer's thinking about chips. That's relatable. I'm very hungry. Hey! You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. There we go! So what are you guys doing after this? <laughs> oh my god. I'm super bad at this. Jesus. Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Wow. Relatable. Um. No. 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 Spare? Can I spare you? You spared Lancer, but its name wasn't yellow. Right. Right. Ho ho ho, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, you sure are. Oh, fuck. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. I had the luck of the- you had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you! Ha ha ha. Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. <laughs> we won! We won! Something. I don't know what that is. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Ah! Hello, everyone! I'm Ralsei. Ralsei? Ralsei. Ralsei. Oh my god! <laughs> Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes! That's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Okay, bye. Whatever. Um... I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but... I, um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here. Um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Ah! Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Okay! Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. Hmm, put a pin in that. I love castles. And then I could bake you a yummy cake. Aww. You're gonna break my heart somehow. I don't know how yet, but you will. Ralph say, the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Hell yes it does. <laughs> All day, every day. Alright, Ralph say. You are adorable. Let's go. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Oh, it looks like you! Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yeah, because everything's different now. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your very- or just your being this time. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will take- will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Ready? Let's try dodging. Okay. Great job, Chris. <laughs> You're a natural, except when I got hit. Yeah. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. I... Okay. I'm sorry! Oh, feel bad. Wow, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? No, I've just played RPGs. Now let's try defending. Simply that, and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gain TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left, I'll explain it next. Okay. Does it have a weird abbreviation that becomes super important later? Just wondering. Oh, I have a shield. That's cute. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Oh. Talent points? Because because you hit that head in me enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Okay. Happily. Spare tired foe. Heal ally. Or I'll say cast pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting. Through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? Okay, I'm good with this. Yes! You hug Ralsei. Chris, um, I don't think, um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But, you're welcome. Let's hug the dummy. You hug the dummy. Aw, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. So spare. Hmm. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end of a real battle. I'm really happy to have the chance to teach you. Okay. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, uh, in case you need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press D to open the menu and use it in your items. Got the manual. Ralsei's handmade book full of various tips and tricks. You tried to read the manual, but it was so dense it made your head spin. Ah, okay. It's just a dummy. Is it, though? It's interesting to me that Toby is spending so much time explaining everything. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's going to come back and bite us. Like taking our... Wow, that's pretty. Taking our expectations and kind of fucking with them somehow. Oh my, the great door is opened? No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I'm an old hand at this, but I also don't trust Toby Fox at all. Chris, I knew you were here the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Oh boy, oh boy. So, Delta Rune is not, like, a rune? That's really weird to me. Okay. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. Field. Great door. Okay. That's 44 minutes, apparently. So, I think that is a good point for a cut.
this is weird. These trees are weird. The music's beautiful, but hey, I mean, how many points are you going to give Toby Fox for that, huh? No, I'm kidding. It's great. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> 